Okay, so I'm going to be making uh, my first video on kayak stance. Now, I got this design uh, from online. I'm not too happy with it, to be honest. Um, they made it such that the sight stand or the sight pipes here are uh, different lengths so that if they fold down, they fit inside of each other. But as you can see from looking at it, this also means that they're not you know at the same height basically um they're kind of crooked and not balanced or not centered over the the center point of the the hinge basically um so uh in my second one that i'm going to be making i'm going to change those dimensions um the overall length of this uh is the longest i guess square or uh, rectangle is um five foot which is basically 60 inches for the top uh pipe or the horizontal pipes and then for the vertical ones they're 36 inches the one in the center or the smaller one is actually uh, four inches smaller which basically puts it at uh, 56 inches for the horizontal ones and then 32 inches for the side pipes um, i'm going to be making uh, the second one with 36 inch uh, stand pipes uh, by the way you're seeing my dogs tail and behind because he's out here with me and he wants to be in the shade because it's too hot outside anyway so this is the first one that i made um this is the one obviously without the kayak i used the uh the, the straps uh, that i got at walmart and later on in the video i will show you uh the ones that i'm going to be using for the second one which basically um are still packaged up um, the ones that i got are the six feet long they also have them in three feet long but I think the six, uh, six feet one is better. It allows you more adjustment. You can make it even uh, sit lower or higher the way you want it to. So anyway, I'm going to show you that same stand now um, with the kayak or with one of the kayaks on it. And, uh, you know, we'll take it from there. So hang on. Okay, so here we have that same stand that I showed you just now, um, but with the kayak on it. Um, as you can see, it sits pretty well in there. Um, it's nicely centered, I think. Um, but again, because of the, the, I guess the asymmetrical legs underneath, I don't think it sits nicely, you know, leveled, um, the way it can be. So I'm kind of hoping that if I change those dimensions and make them basically the same for the, uh, for the vertical legs, um, that it will improve how this kayak sits on that, on that stand. So um anyway this is our kayak um and again this is how it sits on that stand I'm, I'm not too happy with the stand but you know we'll leave it as is maybe if i have some material left over i can change the uh the stand here and make the 32 inch ones also 36 inch ones um but i'll see if uh, if you know how it works out with the other one so anyway um I'll be right back and we'll start uh, sh uh, introducing the materials that we need, the tools that we need, and then from there on out, we'll, uh, we'll start building it. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, materials you're gonna need. You're gonna need four lengths of 10 feet each of one and a quarter PVC pipe. That's what you see there. Then you're gonna need eight 90 degree elbows for the one and a quarter PVC pipe. You're gonna need two quarter inch bolts, about four inches long, uh, six washers, quarter inch, and uh, two self-locking nuts, also quarter inch. Then you're gonna need two straps. I got these at Walmart. I got the six foot ones, and they also have them in three foot. But the six foot one will, ones will allow you a little bit more uh, adjustment on the uh, height later on. You're going to need a pipe cutter. I got this one at the Home Depot for probably about seven or eight dollars. Um, and it's a lot easier than uh, using a uh, cut or a saw. Uh, you need a couple of wrenches to tighten the, the bolts and the nuts. You're going to need a, a quarter inch drill. You're going to need uh, some sort of a punch to kind of make a hole. I just use an old bolt or a screw. You're going to need a Sharpie to mark it up. 
obviously you're going to need a uh, tape measure to measure the, the length of your pipes. Um, you're going to need some sort of a vise or something to clamp the pipes down in so that you can drill the holes through and through. And then obviously you're going to need a, a drill. Uh, I'm using an electric drill because it's got a little bit more power, but you can probably get away with just a hand uh, screwdriver. Um, so that's, that's the materials. And in a bit, I will show you how to cut those lengths of PVC pipe to the appropriate lengths. Okay, so here we go cutting the first two of uh, 60 inches each. Now normally these things are a little bit longer than 10 feet so what I do is I measure 60 inches from both sides put a mark there and then put another mark right in between those two so I know that I have half of these uh, pipe or half of the pipe in this one. The other ones are all going to be um, 54 uh, 50, sorry 56 inches four inches shorter so uh, make sure that this stays on there obviously there we go it's not as easy as it looks I guess yeah, there we go. All right, so 60 inches on this one is right there and as you can see they're not inches each. So I'm going to go in the middle of that one. That means that I exactly have half of this pipe, which obviously is a little bit longer than 60 inches, but that's okay. We're going to grab our cutter. Now normally these things cut a little crooked, not entirely straight, but again, as soon as you put them in the 90 degree elbows, that doesn't really matter. All right, so now we got two equally long pieces. There you go. So that's one. Now we're going to do 54 inch ones. Those are for the ones for the part that goes inside the other one. things are very handy they're a, a lot easier to use than the uh, than any like hand saw or anything like that they're a lot quicker a lot less messy and just very easy to use it's left over now the other ones are going to be 36 inches each so I'm not going to do everything in one of them for you guys. I'll just there we go. Go through them one by one and just speed through the video. Four pieces of 36 inches, which make up for the vertical legs. And we got two pieces of 56 inches, which make up for the horizontal ones for the small frame. And then we got two of 60 inches, which make up for the horizontal ones for the tall frame. I mean the big frame. All right, so that's it. So we're gonna drill the holes in the legs and then we're gonna put them together. Okay, 
so now we're getting ready to drill the holes. Um, like I said, I use a vise for that to kind of keep the pipe in place. Um, one thing you've got to be really careful of uh, doing is making sure that you um, keep the drill as vertical as possible to make sure that the hole doesn't go crooked this way or come out the wrong way of the pipe. So that's something that you got to be kind of really careful with and, and make sure that you keep it as vertical as possible and as straight as possible. Anyway, so these are 36 inches, so we're going to take half of that, which uh, would put it at 18 inches. So we're going to mark the center of these pipes. Actually, do it outside of the device for now. It's a little easier that way. And again, I'm going to do it from both sides to make sure that I am in the center of the pipe. Um, 18 inches this way. Make sure I'm in the center. The other side. Oh. Well, not far off, about one eighth of an inch off. So that's not too shabby. Actually, one sixteenth of an inch. So uh, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it right in the center of that thick line. Give it a whack with the screw. That should be the center. I'm going to make sure that I'm in the center of the vise. Make sure that mark is horizontal. There we go. So, mark it up right there. Home. Now we got to put the drill. Make sure that we're keeping it. it should be all right. All right. Now that's one hole. So now we got to make sure that we're straight both ways, and then go straight. Through. All right. That's one. Now, if everything is all right, I do that with the other three. And then they should line up pretty neatly. Let's see. Uh, looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have to be 100%, but, you know, the straighter it is going through, the easier it is to line up the holes later on. All right, so I'm going to do this for the other three. And I'm going to speed through this little process a little bit so you guys don't have to watch through everything. up put some washers and screws in between device out of the way here so screws the nuts and the washers all right let's do this I'll put a washer on first Washer on. And get the second pipe. Uh, I'm happy with that. Get the last washer on. And then put the nut on. Now what I'll do is I'll keep the long piece of this of this bolt on the inside of the of the frame so it doesn't stick out and you know you can get hurt doing or walking by. So. My wrench is out. Hold it on the place. Roll it over. Slippage. So anyway, that's one set. Again. So I'm gonna put those 90 degrees on the other later. Um, there we go. Alright, still 
some adjustment. Basically, that's it. So now we got to put those 90 degree um, elbows on it. We'll start with one set. That. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these flat on the floor and uh, make sure that they're aligned. Take my marker, mark it on the inside so I know that if I take them apart to glue them, and I'll have to put them back together again. So. So that's one. Now, put this part. Get the right side. I'm going to do that one on the inside. Grab two more corners and elbows. Put those on. Again, put that string down. Do that with the other one too. I'm not going to show you guys because that's not necessary. Okay, so what I did here was take everything apart again. Take the the, the uh, bolt and the screw or the uh, nuts off the washers, and basically just glue, glued both parts together um, and made sure that they fit uh, the way they're supposed to be fitting. So all I need to do now is put the uh, the bolts back in and uh, put the straps around it and that should be it. So here we go. Start with one side here. Push it through. Wash it on. Yeah. 
Okay, so I got the one on the left in. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle. I also decided to go with a wing nut on it rather than the self-locking nut. That way, uh, if I ever need to take it apart, it's a little easier to do that. So, okay, so now for the right-hand side. Again, the same thing here. I uh, decided to go with the wing nut here, so. Get the screw. There we go. Get the brush on. Obviously, this is going to be a little harder because it's now already. I'm going to have it in there. So, yep, there it is. Alright, so, washer. Like I said, clean nut. So all I need to do now is put the straps around it and we should be good to go. Get those. Again, like I said, uh, I got the six, in, six foot long ones. They also have them in three foot, but I think the six foot ones are a little better to use as they, uh, or a little better to adjust, let me put it that way. So unwrap these. get the, the other kayak out kind of put it on here and uh, see how that looks probably have to kind of make it a little wider so it actually just really sits on the straps um, but you know you can adjust that while the kayak is in there so um, that's the next step okay so again I moved it over slightly so that it sits next to next to the other kayak and I can still get my motorcycle in um, let's move forward a little bit there we go all right so again like i said the the straps are six feet long kind of put them in this way so that the kayak can actually sit in here and kind of pull everything together in fact i'm going to make it slightly loose there we go a little lower you can always adjust that later on when the kayak's in there um so the next step will be to actually get the kayak and put it in there Okay, and there is the stand with the kayak on it. Um, like I said, I think uh, I like this one a little bit better than the first one as it sits, uh, I guess, better level. Um, it's easier to move it around a little bit and so on and so forth. So it's a little bit better or easier to adjust, let me put it that way. So anyway, there you have it. Both my kayaks on their stands. And uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. So. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.